how to going. walk base. Uh, so, first of all, you need to know your chords and your scales and what part of what scale the chord is coming from. You need to do a harmonic analysis of the whole thing. Autumn Leaves is a beautiful one to start with because it's very simple. It comes from a major scale. Uh, and then it modulates to the relative minor, which gives you, I'll show you the, the option. Um, and this is just a list of concepts that you can use. Um, this, this version of it is in the key of C major. Makes it really easy. Uh, no sharps or flats. Um, and then it modulates to the relative minor, which is A minor, which in a jazz context, I really, really like to, the first option, there's, in, in jazz there's, you know, limitless options, but uh, the, the most conservative thing uh, I do is go to G sharp there, which makes this a harmonic minor. Um, so the, the scale that you're thinking about when you go to a minor, when you modulate there, would be a harmonic minor, which means instead of playing a G, you play G sharp. It just gives it that extra, little extra oomph. Um, and then you do an analysis. We're just gonna do the first, you know, we're gonna negotiate that um, first change from the major to the minor. Chord progression is D minor seven. You need to know all the notes in the D minor seven. Uh, and as a bass player, honestly, you know, you wanna start with just the, the triad. Um, the bass is, is the foundation, it's the rock. Um, so you want to think about the, the notes in terms of uh, importance to the, the fundamentals of the sound um, and when you're choosing your notes. So you want to start like in a D minor, you have D minor 13, you know, whatever. Right? Uh, in, in the first space of bass playing, you know, if you're not Ron Carter. <laughs> If you're just learning to do stuff, forget about all that. I want you to think about the triad, right? And even before the triad, the, the root and the fifth. You know, you go back to the, where this bass playing comes from. One, five, one, five. Right, that's the bass player's job. Everybody else plays the other stuff. Think about bluegrass, you know, that's the kind of, um, it's one of those styles, or polka, or whatever. Um... But, so you, you think about, you strip it down, and you think about just the triads. You memorize what that is. Uh, then, you think about the chord progression. So in uh, the key of C major, D minor is two chord. Five chord, which is G. One chord, C major. Four chord, F major. Uh, now, we're going to modulate. Even though this one is in, this is B diminished. Uh, it's in the key of C major, but um, because of my experience, I know that we are transitioning now to the key of A minor, um, especially so because the next chord. Now. Yeah, so now this is a two. Very good. Thank you. That's a two. And then you go to a five because mm -hmm. ding, 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 alarm bells. Yeah, and there is that. There's an accidental. Special. So it's an E major, yeah. which is the five but chord of A minor. Why the harmonic works. Because and that's exactly because... Um, first of all, if you just one of the, one of the ways that you can figure out um, what key you're in, if you're in doubt, it's a, a helpful thing is just to play all the chords together. You go D minor, G major, uh, C major, <laughs> and F major. Well, lo and behold, if I play all four of those chords together, it's a C major scale. Easy peasy. If I take uh, B diminished, E minor. I'm sorry, E major. And A minor, lo and behold, there's that too. It's an A harmonic minor scale. Period. That's those three chords express that scale, and that's where we're getting these chord scale relationships. Is um, uh, the chords are three note expressions of scale. Um, take you know A minor, it's three notes. You're just playing three notes, but you can hear. not hearing it's not random stuff I mean some people hear that but <laughs> again this is a process where it's stage one here uh, so when you create a baseline 
um, with this stuff, uh, you're going to think about two things. You're going to think about your chords first mm -hmm. and your scale second. Mm -hmm. And the third wild card are passing tones, mm -hmm. which are not in the key. But they're but in serve, the scale of whatever no, you're in? No. They are, not, they are not related to what you're doing there outside. Think about inside, mm -hmm. C major. We also have these other notes on the piano. Jazz players like to use all the notes all the time. So these, but, and it's okay as long as you understand that these are the outside notes. These are the inside notes. Okay, and I'll, I'll explain to you what all that means in a second. Um, but that's the third, that's the wild card. We'll get, we'll get there in a minute. First two though are inside. This is all inside. If you play inside exclusively, it's not gonna sound like jazz. That's why you need you need that grit. You need that tension. Uh, jazz is a very dissonant um, type of music. So, um, walking bass. Uh, we have four beats in each measure, four beats for each chord in this context. Uh, in this case, so uh, you want to think about your target notes. You're starting at a D minor. Then you have to get to G. These are important notes. This is C and then you have to get to F, just starting with those. Each of those you have to play on the first beat of the measure. So you start here, you got three more beats, and you end up here. How do you get there? There's so many different ways, but the first way that you wanna do it is just think about your chord. Uh, you can go one, two, three, four. I just played up and down. One, two, three, four. I'm here at G. It's totally fine. One, I'm gonna play a really straight and arrow, straight, straight and arrow one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then I go to C. It's a way that you know we're talking about figuring this stuff out. So this is you're learning your options and your sonics. Those are the chords. You could go any any chord to D, F, and A. If you slow that down, all of those were chord tones. I can repeat them. I can even go. Whatever, you know. Uh, but by doing that, you, you start to get in your ear what's possible. Eventually, you'll just hear it. So that's using exclusively chord tones. The second thing you want to do is use scale tones. Uh, so I know that this entire thing is in C major, so I'm just using notes, anything really from the C major scale, but usually it's, it's notes that are right next to each other. Uh, so I can walk from D to G. I can't play it there because I need it on the neck, because it'd be awkward. It's not, it's not the happiest one. You could go the other direction though. One, two, three, four, G. Right? I just walk down the scale. G, and then if I wanted to go up, I can just jump over it and there. So let's do that in D minor. D, skipping over to G, up and back, right? But you're not swinging anything now. Like when we're no, this is all very, well, the bass, no, this <laughs> that's later. This is all very <laughs> straight on the beat, before. quarter notes. Uh, so anything that you can figure, think of to do that. Right, and, I'm, and again, you want to compose these so that you can remember them and remember the decisions that you make. You okay. need to, make my in the beginning, you take your time to figure out mm -hmm. some decisions and something that sounds good. Ultimately, you'll be able to improvise. Remember, spontaneous composition is something that sounds good, but Based has compositional value. It's not just a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> uh, so then, the last thing, the wild card uh, would be, um, incorporating passing tones. Mm -hmm. So in this, we encountered this problem just now. Well, it's right there, but I don't want to hit it yet. Yeah. And before I went around it, but I can just uh -huh. look, oh look, there's a note between. So. And if I want to go up here, I can just. Because between here and here, you got all these things, or you can use that one. You know, 
it's usually just passing to the next scale tone, right? So you're not going. That's weird. You're just going. Or. Either one is fine. You can also go. Approach it from above. And again, like that just now sounded a little bit off. To I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't write. Like I didn't like. Yeah. You can go. It's another way to get there. It's a chromatic approach tone. Passing. Approach it from the opposite direction. Because it's the same as this. Going like with a scale tone was fine. This gives it a little more bite. So literally, compose a bass line, learn it, make it sound good, and then compose another one, and then compose another one, and another one. And when you get 20 bass lines, and you understand why you made those decisions, then you will start to be able to make mix, mix and match and, and, and make more decisions uh, based on good sounding stuff.